those who were sitting in a service looking at a screen and they were telling you that these are angels that are appearing in church. Where is your brain? Let's talk about this thing. Where is your brain? Are you hearing what I'm saying? All those who were sitting in the church, these are prophets for sale, pastors for sale. They are not in it for the things of God, but they are in it for money. You were sitting in church. I'm talking about this charlatan from Pretoria. They have, you know, the funny part is that ever since I started exposing these people, all their tricks and everything that they are doing, I've been in the newspapers, headline from since last week. Since last week, I've been in the newspapers, headline, one headline after the other, one headline after the other. Even today, I was in a newspaper again. Another headline again. <laughs> and if you look at the stories, these are fabricated stories, fabricated stories that they're just trying to come up with as a way of trying to divert attention from the real ball, which is the ball of fake miracles and fake prophecies. The truth is that these people are charlatans. And now they're paying the cheap journalists to come out and tarnish and speak against J. Israel in the newspapers, one headline after the other, one headline after the other. Let me give you a warning. All those headlines you are putting out there, don't think that I'm going to stop. I'm not going to stop. Continue. Bring more. Bring more. Bring more. I will not stop. Bring more. The other headline said that uh, J. Israel uh, threatens congregant because the congregant didn't want to call them, to call him and his girlfriend uh, Kim and Kanye. What nonsense is that? What nonsense? Do I even have a girlfriend? When was the last time I had a girlfriend in my life? <laughs> what kind of nonsense is that? Kim and Kanye for what? Are you hearing what I'm saying? These charlatans are busy. They are busy trying to come up with things. Let, what can we put? What can we write? What can we write? I know the, the journalists, poor, poor journalists. Because they want my, all they want is money. They don't care. But let me tell you, I'm not going to stop. Let's talk. All those people, I'm talking about this charlatan from Pretoria. It's a criminal, that one. It's a criminal. He's going to court. In the next few days, he's going to court. Right? He's going to court. For what? Money laundering. How do you call yourself a prophet and you are being charged for money laundering? What kind of nonsense is that? And you still see people say, oh no, hey, Papa, we are standing with Papa. Foolish people. I saw them the other day. They were there at the court, outside the court. They were praying, kneeling down and, 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 and even the other ones were crying. You can see that these people are sincere. They are sincerely praying for their Papa. But they don't know that their Papa is a thief. They don't know that their papa is a charlatan. Do you know how many women that uh, 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 he's sleeping with? I'm not talking about stories I don't know. I'm talking about women that have approached me. His own brother, this charlatan from Pretoria, he's got a brother who's been exposed. His naked pictures are all over the internet as we speak. The one who was running this Deben branch here. His naked pictures are all over. And you see people say, oh no, Jay Israel, preach the gospel and leave them alone. I will not leave them alone. I will not. Talking about this and exposing them is part of the gospel. Listen, what we are doing now, we are not condemning, we are correcting. This is correction. This is the work of God. This, this is a criminal. Are, are you hearing me? This is a criminal. He's a charlatan. Criminal. A highly qualified criminal. In faking miracles, you know, it's very funny. I'll tell you something that is very funny. It's very funny because when I met the Jobek pastor, first time when I met him, when he was trying to act as if he's a holy man of God to me and all that, he used to tell me that, oh, no, you see this guy from Pretoria. No, he's not, uh, you know, he's not in right standing with God. You know, we must help him, you know. Only, but just a few months ago, this uh, Jobek uh, pastor released a video honoring the Pretoria charlatan and saying he's also a father of the gospel. Which gospel? So you are now putting each other in position of fatherhood. Because you are all charlatans. Nonsense. He is also a father of the gospel uh, uh, even in Africa. Yesterday you were saying he is not a man of God. Today you are calling him a father. What nonsense is this? 
Ah, Jesus must just come already. I'm telling you, Jesus must just come already. Do you know the kind of women, the kind of women that uh, uh, have approached me, rape cases and everything, everything, they're sending messages on my inbox. Say, so please, we are, we, we are afraid of speaking out, but you are giving us courage to speak out. We are afraid of speaking out, you are giving us courage to speak out. Listen, you were raped, you were sexually abused, speak out. This is the time for you to speak out. Come out and speak. Let these charlatans be sent to prison. That is where they belong. I pray that when, in fact, when he's going for this case, the case, uh, or the court case, as he's going for the court case, he's going to be postponed. The court case that he's going for is going to be postponed to a different date. And it's going to be, because there's more and more investigations they have to put into the case. And the case will be postponed as he's going to court now. I pray that at the end of the investigation, they arrest this charlatan and send him to prison unless he repents. It is simple. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. And then you begin to question everybody who, who is associated with these charlatans. How do you associate yourself with such charlatans and you still call yourself a man of God? How does that work? Huh? How does that work? We, we, we thought maybe this is the gospel, but they are, now, they are now giving each other positions of fatherhood in the body of Christ. <laughs> they, are, they are fathers, and then in that fatherhood, they are in, including N.J. Sitole. Are you, are you out of your mind? How do you put a, 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 the late a, a, a revivalist a, a tsunami N.J. Sitole in the same category with this charlatan from Pretoria? Huh? What kind of a, 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 a insult? To the body of Christ. Huh? And you also put yourself there and say, yeah, even myself, I'm also uh, a father. In... <laughs> oh, what nonsense. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you this is the truth. This is the truth. This is the truth that a lot of people are afraid of speaking. It's the truth. And you see their sons. Hmm? Because it's not only them. They also have sons everywhere. They have replicated their nonsense into all their sons. That is why you hear that their sons have raped here. Their sons have stolen money here. Their sons have done this here. Their sons have done this here. You know, they have replicated their nonsense into all their sons. 